Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 10, verses 1 to 10. Jesus said, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is a shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice as the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved, and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The start of chapter 10 in John's Gospel is the beginning of the Good Shepherd Discourse, where Jesus speaks about the commitment of the shepherd to his sheep. So in this context, what does it mean to be good? There are many different benchmarks to what qualifies as good, but it can be generally agreed that goodness exhibits fairness, sacrifice, and care for people in one's life. However, being good is not necessarily the same as being nice. Sure, Goodness and niceness often complement one another, but here's an example that clearly distinguishes the two. Think about the behaviors of good leader. Yes, he or she values the importance of treating people with fairness and respect, but can also put their foot down and be firm when it comes to issues that threaten the well-being of the corporate entity he or she is in charge of. Now compare that with the behaviors of a nice leader. Yes, he or she is pleasant to be around, but more likely than not, when it comes to controversial issues, a very much needed hard stance and firmness is not exhibited, lest the reputation of being nice comes under pressure. The same can be applied to Christ as the good shepherd. Unlike a nice shepherd, he is willing to be firm and be open to controversy and ridicule for the sake of our well-being. Whatever he says is transparent and genuine. Even when the things he says and stands for might hurt our feelings, one cannot deny the truth of his words. So let us continue to put our trust in our good shepherd, who is entirely dedicated to guiding us through the good times, as well as the bad, with loving devotion. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and good day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.